Canadian folk band featuring unique instruments touring with a brand new album. The Tequila Mockingbird Orchestra, consisting of five talented non-orchestral musicians, had a stop in Red Deer earlier this week. There's a current lineup which is kind of as we've been, as we've been touring for two, about two years. And uh, that's composed of Keith Roger on double bass, uh, Max Shields on fiddle, and Paul Wolda on percussion. And Paul Wolda, myself, Kurt, and Ian have been in the band basically since its inception, more or less nine years ago. The band's sound is like no other, with each member drawing from their own cultural experiences. There's a uh, bluegrass influence, and there's a flamenco influence. I lived in Spain for two years and studied flamenco guitar there, so that made for the flamenco influence. And Paul, our hand drummer, he studied uh, African music growing up, so there's influence from there. So it's original music inspired by folk music from the world. While the Tequila Mockingbird Orchestra draws inspiration from far and wide, they feel quite at ease right here in central Alberta. Well, Ian and I are both uh, from Alberta. Uh, I wasn't born here, but I was raised in Calgary. He was raised in Hinton, so there's that tie. But also, Alberta, for our band, in terms of touring, kind of related to, I guess, our familial ties, but also just because, you know, it's the next province over from BC, it's always been really, really good to us in terms of touring, connections, other bands, contacts, awesome festivals. And tour they will, making stops in Hinton, Jasper and Edmonton over the weekend and then on to BC. The Tequila Mockingbird Orchestra has been touring for almost nine years and have grown to really enjoy sharing their music live. I think live is always an opportunity, less so for the new record because right now I think we're staying pretty true to the arrangements of the new record for the most part, but for the older stuff it's an opportunity to expand, to have fun, to, to change and I mean even if we're going to play this, the, these new songs the same in terms of arrangement, night in and night out, there's always subtleties that are that are changing constantly and in groove that's changing. So um, live has always been really fun. But they are starting to warm up to spending time in the recording studio as well. Their new album titled Love introduces new sounds and a common theme that fans are getting behind. Our other records were probably more folky, whereas this record is more <clears throat> like psychedelic 50s pop. I think people who really know us realize it's quite a departure from our previous work but I think that they're excited about that because you know they know us and they know that as you grow as an artist and everything, everything changes and you want to, you want to push boundaries, you want to try new things. Um, and then I think in terms of the actual content itself, it's, it's so different that it just, it just shows another side of what we're able or like desiring to do with music. You know? For Go On Shaw TV, I'm Chloe Hoffner.